season. Grant, for teams out of the playoffs, what's today like? <laughs> oh, B.A., it kind of reminds me of the last day of school growing up. Your teachers, a.k.a. your coaches, they'll let you have some fun and you say goodbye to your friends, of course, in this case, your teammates. So let's take a look at the starters for the Philadelphia 76ers. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. DeAnthony Melton out there with James Harden. And it's Harris in at the three, the small forward. Now here's Embiid. Knocks it loose. Tucker with a screen on Richardson. Shot clock at six. From deep, Melton. Doesn't go for him. And here's Richardson. Pass to Valanchunas. Here's McCollum. And here's Richardson. Valanchunas sets a screen. Shoots from 12. Richardson, that's good. And that gets us rolling. Whew. What a tremendous atmosphere in here tonight. And sometimes getting that first bucket puts momentum in your corner. But we'll just have to see. Now here's Harris. A steady force on their offense. Recording around 14 and a half a game. Pass to McCullum. Oh, and he got fouled on his way up. He'll head to the line to shoot two. James Harden picks one up. <laughs> and McCullum isn't afraid of contact, especially when he's being aggressive and looking to score. Shooting two. And he can't get the first one. And C.J. McCollum getting more on-ball action after his move away from Portland Grant. And McCollum has showed that's where he's best. Great at breaking down defenders and setting up others. He looks very natural as the primary playmaker. And the second free throw is good. You know, in the past several seasons, there's been one constant with the 76ers. They're going to be among the best defensive teams in the league. Now here's Harden, taking command on offense when they need him, putting up 21 a game. Tucker, the pass to Embiid. Played it in with a nice touch off the window. The Sixers' identity really does center around their defense. It's so true, B.A., and they've done a great job playing to their strengths. That's the key for any contending team. Maximize your players' talents. Philly has done that as well as anybody. Here's Valanchunas. After the Sixers picked up a basket a moment ago. Pass to Ingram. Count the basket. It's hard trying to match up with Ingram, especially when he's looking to score inside. McCullum against Harden. The floater. No luck on that one. And New Orleans will go the other way with it. This game coming on the heels of their win versus the Knicks. What about their offense? It was a well-oiled machine, getting them high-quality looks time and time again. The coaching staff has been happy with how well they've executed the game plan. They operated as a cohesive unit. Now here's Melton giving this team some energy, averaging a little over 10 points a game. Here's Harris using his post moves to get the two points. Oh, he's just ridiculous. He's just an absolute surgeon when he has the ball. This man is surgical. There is no way to slow him down when he wants to score. Harden against McCullum. The kick out to Richardson. That's in. Coming off an assist from McCullum. Richardson's gotten his second bucket. We know CJ can score it, but the passing component of his game, I mean, McCullum's really upgraded it. Tucker, he nails it, and we're tied. And that's what they want to do. Get him open looks early. The Pelicans have gone three of four. Off to a nice start. Just over three and a half minutes gone here in the first. Here's Valanciunas. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. James Harden picks one up. More of a traditional center. Jonas Valanciunas can dominate the glass and capable of a double-double on any given night. Shooting two.
but he drops the first. And one thing you know you'll always get with Valanchunas, he's going to rebound. Offense, defense, no matter what, he's attacking the glass. Maxi, he's checked in for Philadelphia. And Valanchunas drops them both. And with his size and reach, Valanchunas is a monster on the boards, Greg. That is true. I mean, impossible to move in the paint. He gets a wide base and just vacuums missed shots. And his great touch allows him to rack up second chance points as well. Free throw, no good. A scoring machine. There's just no shot and beads and afraid to take. Good on the second one. And here are the Pelicans now. Their last meeting was in Philadelphia, where they were unable to fight off the Sixers. Last game, their starting lineup struggled to stay on the floor. It just put too much pressure on the bench. Expect to see them being much more careful tonight because of that. Maybe being a little less aggressive. And Philadelphia has possession. Following the score by New Orleans. Stolen by Jones. On the wing, Richardson. And he sinks that one. Hitting the back of the rim on the way in. Richardson's got six. The Sixers trailing. Melton outside. Who poked away. Stolen by Jones. Now the Pelicans in transition. And he was fouled while in the act of shooting. So he'll take two free throws. Good from Jones. No good on the second, so he hits one of two. Philadelphia has gone one of two from three point land so far. And Tyrese Maxey gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. I love great defense. Just quick to establish his feet, and he takes the hit. Oh, what a performance offensively. <laughs> They're really rolling at that end. Excellent game plan. And Tyrese Maxey gets the whistle that time. That'll be a second foul of the game. And the 76ers making a change here. Milton is checked in. Richardson against Melton. Pass to Jones. Now here's Valanchunas. Four on the clock. Sinks the tray. Valanchunas has got seven. And they've settled in quickly today. A nice flow and rhythm to their offense. Up top, Embiid. Will it go? And he lays it up and in. He's got five. No slowing him be down. He powers right past the contact. Outside Richardson. Valanchunas finds Ingram. Over Tucker. And it's Ingram with the basket. On the assist from Valanchunas. Ingram's gotten his second bucket of the game. Milton passes to Embiid. And he's going to the line for two. 
The official saw contact while he was going up. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. Yeah, Embiid just terrorizes defenses on the inside. Good luck guarding the big fella. And an important part of every team's game, a look at the hustle stats for New Orleans. And he knocks down the first one. Nance, he's checked in for New Orleans. And Embiid drops them both. New Orleans in the lead. McCullum outside. Pass to Nance. Now Ingram. Shoots from 14. That one's off. He's two for three in the game. Milton with it. He picked up 15 in their last win against the Hawks in Atlanta. Can't cash in the 10-footer. The Pelicans have gone 7 of 9, a solid percentage so far. McCullum against Harris. And the officials will call the illegal screen here. And let's have a look at the current NBA scoring leaders. Joel Embiid on top. He's the guy every defense fears. Can't even slow him down right now. For Philadelphia, they've gone 4 of 9 in this one so far. Milton passes to Harris. Embiid is screen on Jones. Milton for three. And the shot is good. Harris making the play. Just a beautiful job of scanning the floor, finding the open man. Harris looking to involve his teammates. Milton against McCullum. Nance with a screen on Milton. Here's McCollum on the mark with the 15-footer. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. Now here's Tucker. Outside Milton. Fires from deep. Gets the three to fall. Milton's got six. And an impressive passer at the five spot. Indeed, always has a great feel for when his guys are open. Pass to Nance. McCullum outside. Nance with a screen on Milton. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. A late bloomer. C.J. McCullum's career has been fun to watch unfold. And I'm sure inspired lots of hoopers out there. Shooting two. First one falls for him. The Pelicans making a switch here. Marshall's checked in. He's perfect from the line this time. Philadelphia has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Now here's Milton. He has six. Pass to Harrell. Can't get it to drop. Jones with some nice D. The Pelicans have gone eight of ten shooting. McCullum against McDaniels. McCullum's shot is off. The 76ers have got half their attempts to go. 6 of 12. McDaniels finds Milton. Back to Daniels. Rebounded by New Orleans. McCullum outside.
Nance with a screen on Milton. Here's McCollum. Good D by Harrell. Bashes the bucket uh, like you expect him to make. It's tough when he missed those. Pass to Niang. Here's Milton. Here's Harold. And he got the whistle on the way up. So he'll be headed to the line for a pair. Just a bundle of energy. Harold creates free throw opportunities with how active he is. Good on that one. Some scouts wondered about Harold's fit as a modern big, but every night you see the commitment and the hustle, and his energy is just infectious. Murphy, he's checked in for New Orleans. Alvarado comes in for McCullum. He hits the second from the line. <laughs> and they're just hacking away out there. I mean, it's costing them too at the free throw line. Pass to Marshall. Here's Alvarado. Outside Jones. Count it. One for one to start the game. The Sixers trailing. Melton outside. Outside Milton. They swipe it. Here's Murphy. In the game against New York, very impressive. Pass to Jones. Here's Marshall. And another three for New Orleans. When he gets a quality look like this at the perimeter, he can almost be automatic. Outside Milton. Harrell the screen. From 12 feet. Milton no good. New Orleans has gone two for three from outside the arc. Here's Murphy. McDaniels covering. Melton against Jones. Nance the screen. Just five to shoot. To the right side. Here's Marshall. Off target. That would have pushed the lead to double digits. Philadelphia has gone three of four on threes here in this first quarter. Melton passes to Harrell. That shot, no good. Nice D from Nance. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Alvarado. Looking for his first basket still in this one. Pass to Murphy. Here's Marshall. Right side, Jones. Nance with a screen on Melton. Here's Jones. And stolen by Harold. They need something good to happen here. Yeah, they've gone way too long without a score. Outside Milton. Niang a screen. Shoots from 12. A nice shot by Milton. Milton's got eight points. Oh, man, he's feeling it this quarter. They should be looking to get him going every trip down the floor. Here's Alvarado. Ooh, good work defensively by Milton. For Philadelphia, they've gone 7 of 16 so far. Pass to Niang to the inside. Now Melton. Let's it go from deep. The shot off that time. And so it's the New Orleans Pelicans closing out the quarter with a 7-point lead. Great shot selection right now. Keeping the game simple and getting high percentage looks. More NBA on 2K Sports right after this. Good to have you with us on this Easter Sunday. We're ready for more of the NBA on 2K Sports. And looking at what we've seen from the Pelicans, what do you think, guys? Simply put, they look totally fearless on the defensive end. Yeah, they're putting pressure on all the ball handlers, getting into the passing lanes and showing great anticipation. 
You know, for most players, being a starter has value. But Grant, some elite teams have been elevated by great players who have accepted a reserve role. And it's really special, B.A., when you have that. Players who are willing to sacrifice for the greater good of the team. Putting winning first at all costs. And you think about it, through the years, Manu Ginobili with the Spurs, Andre Guadala in Golden State, it really can galvanize a team and lead to winning championships. So on the floor for Philadelphia to kick off the second quarter. Up front, it's Tucker at the four, next to Embiid in the middle. James Harden out there with Tyrese Maxey. And it's Harris in at the small forward. Defense kind of rolled the dice there, and I'm a little surprised that it ended up going their way with the miss. Embiid against Valanciunas. Pass to McCullum. Driving inside. And the foul is called. He missed it, so he's got a couple of free throws coming his way. James Harden picks one up. Fiery drive by McCullum. Going in hard and finding himself a foul on the way to his shot. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. He's off on the first. He sinks the second. Philadelphia has gone three of five from the perimeter in this game. And keeping us updated from the sideline, Allie LaForce. Thanks, B.A. Well, Joel Embiid drawing comparisons to some legendary big men. He said, quote, I want to be mentioned as one of the greats. That's my goal. And obviously being a Hall of Famer. But you've got to take step by step, one day at a time. It's going to take a lot of work, and I'm willing to put it in. Guys? Now he's well on his way, Allie. Thanks. Now here's Valanciunas. And here's Richardson. And he finishes. That makes him four out of five. I just love when teams make it work down low. Look, no matter where Josh Richardson goes, his shooting ability follows. Lots of destinations in his young career, but it hasn't seemed to phase him. That's called being a professional. Here's Ingram, and it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Embiid's got four rebounds now. Pass to Harden. Embiid against Valanciunas. Embiid passes to Harris. Outside Tucker. Clock at six. Here's Embiid. That one's good. Makes him three for seven. You know, Josh Richardson, he really knows how to score, Richard. Oh, that's definitely a role player you'd love to have. He shoots the three ball, plays tough inside. He can even facilitate a little bit. He's got tons of playing time under his belt. McCullum shot is off. Philadelphia has gone four of six from three-point range thus far. Pass to Embiid. Maxey with it, guarded by Richardson. Richardson against Maxey. Three-pointer Embiid. Jones grabs the board. For New Orleans, they've gone just one of three to begin the second quarter. McCullum outside. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his fourth foul of the contest. Milton's checked in for James Harden. Now, for those joining us now, we're in the second quarter, about three minutes gone by. Just five on the clock, and here's Ingram from the arc. Joel Embiid with the board. Embiid's got six rebounds in the game. Harris finds Milton. Pass to Embiid. Let's it fly. And it's Embiid again missing. Okay, so if I were to say this was a disaster of a period for him, it would be an understatement. But hey, sometimes you got to shoot your way out of the slump. 
even for him. And that one's good. Ingram stayed with it, and his effort is rewarded with the second chance bucket. Things just don't seem to be clicking for them offensively. Yeah, they really need to find a way to get back on track. Here's Harris. That one is off. Jones with some nice D. The Pelicans have gotten just two of six field goals to go in the second. McCullum on the wing. From 13. The rebound by Embiid. Embiid's got his seventh rebound here tonight. On the wing, Milton. McCullum defends. Milton passes to Embiid. Shoots over Valanciunas. Embiid misses. And if they want to mount a comeback here, they need him to get going. It's just that simple. Pass to Jones. Beyond the arc. And it's Harris with the rebound. And the shot goes in. Valanciunas has got nine. Yeah, he's a top-tier offensive rebounder. Valanciunas uses his size and strength to his advantage to do damage on the boards. And the 76ers call time here. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Josh Richardson. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. And Philadelphia has possession. Nine-point game. McCollum against Milton. Embiid a screen on McCollum. Pass to Maxi. Here's Embiid. Valanciunas covering. Clock at four. For three, Maxi. Yes, and it's Embiid picking up the assist. Maxi's got six points in the quarter. Good heads-up basketball. Season opening and capitalizes. And here's Valanciunas. Embiid covers. Richardson with it. Valanciunas with a screen on Maxi. Richardson against Maxi. Puts it up from 17. Jones misses. Philadelphia has gone two of three from beyond the arc so far in the second. Maxi passes to Harris. Jones grabs the board. Outstanding work to send him away. They sniff that one out. Milton against McCullum. Pass to Richardson. The three is up. Philadelphia grabs the miss. Embiid's got nine rebounds in the game. Boy, he's getting it done. Milton with it. Give him eight points now. Now Embiid. Valanchunas covering. Fades away. Rebounded by New Orleans. He's looking pretty unsettled at the moment. Doesn't seem like he has a great feel for his shot. Ingram, the pass to McCollum. Valanchuna sets a screen. Let's the three fly. Oh, he drains the three, and he'll go to the line for one more. That's on Joel Embiid. House, he's checked in for Philadelphia.
One shot. The free throw drops for McCollum. Philadelphia has gone five of eight from outside the three-point line in this one. Outside Maxi. Harris outside. Six to shoot. Nice move. Yep, that one goes. Harris has got his second basket of the game. Leaving his defender in the absolute dust. Tobias Harris is doing everything right now. Valanchuna sets a screen. McCollum's shot is off. Well, despite some uneven shooting from him, they're still out in front. Outside Milton. Down low. Here's Embiid. Looking to get back on track. And he gets that one. Embiid's got 11. It looked like he was playing against his little brother out there, the way he just went right over him with his height. McCollum with it. Milton covering. Milton against McCollum. Pass to Richardson. Here's Valanciunas. Hits the jump hook. Valanciunas has gotten four this quarter. I like it. An old school five. Jonas primarily does his scoring close in. Embiid is screen on McCollum. Milton for three. Connects from downtown. He's got 11. Gotta fight harder to get over those screens. Yeah, as soon as these guys feel contact, they are just disappearing like they're not even there. You gotta show some fire and keep defending. Now here's McCollum. 23 points for him last game against New York. And he gets it to go. And the Pelicans lead by seven. They're defending the pick and roll. You have to stop the ball, especially when it's C.J. McCollum controlling it. Ingram against Harris. Jones grabs the board. Jones has got his fourth rebound in this one. Outside Richardson. Valanchunas finds McCollum. Another shot. And Valanchunas puts it in. I mean, night in, night out. Valanchunas is a player you rely on. Again, he's piling up the points. Pass to Maxi. Right wing. Embiid from outside. Rebounded by Ingram. That's his shot. And one, I'm sure, he wants back. And when Pelicans fans watch what Ingram has become, it takes the sting out of the Anthony Davis trade, Graham. Yeah, I mean, Ingram has grown into a full-fledged star in New Orleans. I mean, he's a centerpiece for the franchise going forward. Now, looking back, it seems like it was a win-win trade for both teams. Here's Milton. The Pelicans getting their last shot to go. Here's Embiid. Makes the most of the high-percentage shot. Embiid's got 13. A gifted interior scorer. When Embiid establishes himself down there, he is almost automatic. Valanchunas passes to McCollum. Oh, they get a hand on it. It's stolen by Maxi. Fast break, Philadelphia. A clear look for Embiid. From out on the wing, he knocks it down. 15 points in the game. Yeah, and every season, Embiid seems to improve as a scorer, adding different elements and wrinkles to his game. Valanchunas finds McCullum. Over Milton. Here's Valanchunas. And the dunk by Valanchunas. I just love how he's making the effort plays that everyone around him appreciates. It is certainly making an impact tonight. Offensive rebounding is about hustle and determination. Huge putback, making a statement there. Now here's Embiid. He's got 15, and that one's good. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Pass to Valanchunas. Now here's McCollum, covered by Milton. 
Alan Tunis with a screen on Milton. Shots good by McCollum. And the Pelicans lead by nine. Yeah, the craftiness of McCollum. Smooth in that mid-range area. Here's House. Harris outside. And here's Embiid. Shoots over Valanciunas. That's good from Embiid on the assist by Harris. Embiid's got 19 points. And even though they're down, it's not on him. He's been lights out on offense for them this quarter especially. Valanciunas passes to McCollum from nine feet. And Embiid with the block. Love to see Embiid sliding down shots, taking advantage of his size and frame. Outside Milton, they set a pick. Pass to Embiid. Uses the glass to finish the layup. And it's now only a five-point Pelican lead. Nice, clean bounce pass. Sometimes the fundamentals are all you're going to need. C.J. McCollum has been leading the charge for New Orleans. 11 points in the quarter. He's on fire. More 2K action in just a moment. Hello, basketball fans. First up on the agenda, let's take a look at the action going on around the NBA. Utah with a win against the Nuggets in Denver. And that's a relief for them as it breaks a healthy losing streak. Oh, we all saw that one coming. Well, maybe not you, Ernie. All right, let's talk about the first half. A little bit of ground to make up for the 76ers. Well, I got to give it up for the second unit tonight, Ernie. They're scoring way better than some of the starters. And that's part of this club's strategy. Their front office has made it a priority to add great depth. Yep, and they definitely have great depth. How do you spell depth, Ernie? Thanks for joining us. Time to head back over to the third quarter with Brian Anderson. And after a fairly even first couple of quarters, this second half could turn out to be a great one as both teams trying to gain an edge. What else can you say? Joel Embiid, an impressive effort here today. And given that he's just delivered a double-double through two quarters, I'm excited to see his stats at the end of the night. But I don't think that that's the most important thing to him. Sure, putting up big numbers doesn't hurt, but he's all about getting the win over everything else. And in that first half, we saw a pretty tight battle. We'll soon find out what sort of adjustments were discussed during halftime. They've got C.J. McCollum, Brandon Ingram out there with Herb Jones. Then there's Josh Richardson, and it's Valanchunas in at the five. So that's the group out there for New Orleans. Now here's Maxi. Embiid a screen on McCollum. Maxi attacking. That 2020 draft was so deep. Tyrese Maxi going 21. Maxi is already a premier scorer. A steal that late in the first round. Shooting two. That free throw's good from Maxi. And the 76ers making a change here. Harden's checked in. so he makes both from the line. Two-part equation. You have to be aggressive enough to get to the line, then talented enough to sink them. Pass to Valentunas. Now Richardson. Five to shoot. New Orleans needs to hurry. Late clock. There's McCullough with the three. Nails it from beyond the arc. McCollum's got 19 points. 
Uh, Reese Maxey, part of that loaded 2020 rookie class, Richard. At the top of the first, Anthony Edwards. He is an absolute star. So is LaMelo. Last pick of the first round, Desmond Bain can absolutely play. Like Maxey, though, Isaiah Stewart, Sadiq Bey are great picks in that 20 area. Time now to hear from our reporter, Ali LaForce. Brian Sixers head coach Doc Rivers earned the nickname Doc back in college for wearing a t-shirt with Julius Irving on it. In the NBA, he said, quote, the first game I started was against the Sixers. I went over and said, um, Dr. J, how are you? And he said, Doc, how are you? I said, no, no, I'm Glenn. But he said, no, you're Doc. And that made me feel like a million bucks. Guys? <laughs> All right, thanks, Sally. That free throw, no good. Tobias Harris checked in for Maxi. And he's good on the second. Here's Harden. Well, he hasn't scored yet, but I'm sure that'll change. Harden drawing the double team. Harris on the wing. Defended by Jones. Harris, the shot is good. Harris with some finesse to knock down that little mid-range jumper. McCullum with it. Harden picks him up. And he drains it. Making him 7 for 15 for the day. And his fantastic performance from the last game has carried over to tonight. He's just riding the wave of momentum right now, getting to his spots and keeping things simple on the offensive side. Now here's Harris. He's got six. Here's Ingram. Here's Valanciunas. And yes, it's good. He's seven for eight now. I'll tell you what. They've been aggressive and they've been physical. And since the break, here are the NBA's best free throw shooting teams. The 76ers, number one. The Pelicans, fourth. It's obvious that both of these teams value every free throw they get. Since the break, they've been really dialed in from the line. The Pelicans have gone three of five from the field in this third quarter. McCullum against Harden. Alan Chunas with a screen on Harden. Knocks it down from distance. And now it's a 10-point New Orleans lead. That's a knockdown outside shooter. McCullum knows he has the green light to fire away from downtown anytime. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. The first one falls. Embiid drops them both. It's always nice to see a big fella be able to knock down some free throws and make teams pay from the line. And now we're three minutes into this third quarter of play. Outside Ingram from deep three-point range. Unable to get that one. So Philadelphia will take it the other way. Oh, there's the alley! And then Embiid with the dunk. I like whenever Embiid's teammates use his size and throw it anywhere near the rim because he finishes it. McCullum outside. Shoots over Harden. Shots good by McCullum. 
McCollum's got 10 points in the quarter. And he has flat out taken over this quarter. Keep feeding the beast. Harden, the pass to Tucker. Now here's Embiid. Oh, stolen by Richardson. Pass to McCollum. And here's Valanciunas. Excellent D there from Embiid. Jones against Harris. Now Embiid. And the whistle blows. It's going to be on C.J. McCollum. That'll be a second foul of the game. Yeah, they've been pretty careless so far, racking up a number of fouls in very little time. And the 76ers making a change here. Harrell's checked in. Pass to Harden. The ball's knocked loose. Stolen by Jones. And the dunk by Valanciunas. I mean, with his height and size, stopping Valanciunas just isn't an option sometimes. <laughs> what a jam. Outside Harden. Buries it down low. Harden's got his first point to the game. They need to run plays for him, get him more touches, whatever it takes to get him producing. McCollum, the pass to Valanciunas. Here's Richardson. Alan Chunas with a screen on Melton. Pass to McCollum. The three on target from range. McCollum's got 13 points now in the quarter. This defense just can't stay connected to shooters. Melton passes to Harden. Harrell, a screen on McCollum. From deep, Melton. Not going to go that time. Now New Orleans takes it the other way. And they're plus five on the boys after that rebound. Pass to McCollum. From 10 feet away. And it's Philadelphia with the rebound. Now here's Melton. Still getting warmed up offensively. No buckets yet in the game from him. Here's McCollum. Back to Richardson. McCollum outside. Six on the shot clock. Launches it. And another three for New Orleans. When this guy starts hitting threes, watch out. He's just pouring it on this half. And Philadelphia calls time here. New Orleans making some changes. Marshall, he's checked in for Ingram. Murphy comes in for Jones. And Alvarado's subbed in for Richardson. Niang, he's checked in for Philadelphia. McDaniels comes in for Harris. Philadelphia's gotten six of 11 threes to go in this game. Now Harden. Go, 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 go. 
to the paint. Here's Harold. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. That's on Jonas Valanciunas. And we've seen some good free throw shooting in the second half. And let's quickly check out the scoring breakdown here for the Pelicans. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. And the first one at the line is good. Nance, he's checked in for Jonas Valanciunas. Harrell hits them both. New Orleans has gotten four threes to fall out of five attempts here in the third. Goes up on the baseline, and another one falls for New Orleans. This man is on fire. His team is winning, and it doesn't get better than that. Harrell the screen. Harden from outside. Drains the triple. Harden's got five points. in the quarter scans the floor runs the picks Harden executes nicely you know only two players have won both MVP and six man of the year honors Bill Walton and James Harden what's interesting is that they won six man of the year at very different stages Harden was 22 and still growing as a player while Walton was 33 at the tail end of his career for the Celtics New Orleans has gone 7 of 15 from distance in this game. Marshall goes up and lays it in nice and easy. Five points in the game. And trust me, when the D's slow to react, he'll be the first guy to make them pay. Yeah, they're going to do a much better job of putting a little bit of pressure on him on his way to the hoop. Now here's Harden. He's got five. Down to five on the shot clock. Late clock, the Sixers need to put one up here. Niang, no good. <laughs> and I'm surprised that didn't go down. I mean, I'm sure he is too. The kick out to Nance. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Murphy. McCullum on the wing. Nance with a screen on Melton. And Nance gets it to go on the assist by McCullum. McCullum's got three assists in the game. Melton passes to Harrell. Over Nance. Goes to the fadeaway. Harrell's got five. And that right there is about as far out as Harrell will shoot it. Montrez staying within himself, getting two. McCullum against Melton. Stolen by Melton. Pass to Harden. Outside McDaniels. Jacks up a three. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. McDaniels got himself going with a triple. His first basket of the game. Melton against McCullum. Ooh, he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. The officials were right on top of that one. First free throw is good. Maxi, he's checked in for the Sixers. Yeah. 
And he can't hit the second. And he'll take a trip to the line for two. Clearly got fouled on that shot. And the foul called on the Philadelphia 76ers. He makes a first. Both good from the line that time. Philadelphia has gotten two of four threes to fall here in this third quarter. Outside McDaniels. from the low block and here are some of the best rebounders at the point guard spot from this year's rookie class James Harden is second and even if rebounding isn't a point guard's top priority a lot of the great ones in NBA history were productive on the boards and these guys have that same nose for the ball these are some scrappy players they can hold their own in the paint with anyone take a break take a break two shots That one's off. He hits the second from the line. They're finding a rhythm from the line as they try to cut into this deficit. Pass to Murphy. Here's Marshall. That three's off the mark. For Philadelphia, they've gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in the third. McDaniels can't hit. New Orleans has gotten 12 of their points this quarter from deep. 4 of 6. Here's Alvarado. Nance with a screen on Maxi. Here's Daniels. Count it. So strong at the rim. That'll serve Daniels well here in this league. Philadelphia shooting 54% so far in the third quarter. Pass to Harrell. It's good. Off the assist from Harden. Harden's got three assists now in this one. Their spacing isn't quite as good as it was in the first half. They may need to hit more threes to stretch that defense. Here's Alvarado. Daniels, that one's true. He's got five. Yeah, a complete offensive player. Daniels can set people up, and he can knock down shots. Outside Harden. Niang, a screen. He shoots it. And that's a foul called on Montrez Harrell. That's foul number two for him. Pick works well there, but the defense left a lot to be desired. Yeah, that just comes down to a lack of effort. The defender has to do a better job fighting through the screen. And the 76ers making a change here. Embiid's checked in. 51 seconds left in the third quarter here. Pass to Marshall. Here's Murphy. Here's Daniels. He's got five. Four on the clock from the high post. Oh, stolen by Embiid. Left side, Maxi. To the middle. Nice move. And the finish by Embiid as he lays it in. Embiid's got eight points here in the quarter. It's just one of those nights where he's been very good, but his team is losing, and that's just an odd feeling. One second separating the shot clock and the game clock. Here's Alvarado. Well, he hasn't put up any points yet in this one. Three on the clock. Here's Daniels. Beat the shot clock, but it's off the mark. And as we end the third quarter, a double-digit deficit will make it tough to come back. The Pelicans on top. They're up by 11. And we're coming back in just a moment. Get ready for the fourth quarter when we return.
A moment ago, head coach Doc Rivers in the huddle. What they're banking on is us going too quick, forcing turnovers. That's how they can score. Just be solid, okay? Come on. Telling his guys not to fall into their trap. Coach Rivers wants his team to play their style of basketball. And it's really good advice, B.A. You can't afford to play the other team's pace or you're just going to get torched. And we reach the fourth quarter in a game that may already be out of hand. On the court for Philadelphia to start the fourth. Harris and Embiid are playing up front. Tyrese Maxey is out there with James Harden. And it's McDaniels in at the three. As one of the top two-way players in the draft, Daniels was on a lot of teams' radar, and that kind of versatility will always get a player some attention. First free throw is good. Hits one, then misses the second attempt from the line. And for Philadelphia, they're shooting it at 52%. Maxi passes to Embiid. So it'll be two free throws. He was fouled in the act of shooting. Now in Tunis. And so he's picked up his final foul. And he'll sit the rest of this one out. Ingram's checked in for the Pelicans. Shoot two. That free throw misses. And the second free throw is good. Ingram against McDaniels. Pass to Murphy. Here's Alvarado. Takes a three. It's hauled in by the Sixers. Embiid's got rebound number 13 for him here tonight. Here's McDaniels. That falls. Nice setup by Harris. Harris has got three assists in the game. Out to the right wing. Here's Murphy. And a miss there on the triple. The Sixers trailing. Outside Harden. Inside. Outside Maxi. Let's go with a three. And the 76ers, another three. And that's one of the underrated aspects of his game, his passing. He knows the defense expects him to finish the job, but he just drops off a dime. Now here's Ingram. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his fifth foul. And one more foul, and he's out of here. Got to be careful from here on out. Tucker's checked in for McDaniels. Fourth quarter now. We're about a minute and a half in. Tucker against Ingram. Over Tucker. And that one's good. Ingram. And the Pelicans lead by eight. The versatile nature of Ingram's shooting can be tough to counter. Even the mid-range is a good option for him. Three-pointer Embiid. And the three-pointer goes. Embiid's got 12 points in just the second half. And this is just typical of him. Always making an impact at crucial moments in the game. And his team needs every bit of his production if they want to pull this one out. It is neck and neck here in the final period. Outside Harden. Pass to Embiid. And the Pelicans making a change here. Jones is checked in. And 
And here's Tucker. Back to Embiid. And out of bounds. New Orleans will have it. Yeah, a communication breakdown. Two guys thinking in opposite directions. The pass winds up in the stands. A touch under two and a half minutes have passed now here in the fourth. Ingram, the pass to Jones. Back to Ingram. From deep. The rebound by Maxi. Would you say testing the limits of his range there? Yeah, he might have been feeling himself a little too much on that one. He can hit it, but not consistently. Now here's Harden. Pass to Embiid. Shot clock at five. The shot, no good. And it's the Pelicans taking it the other way. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. To the left wing. Here's Murphy. Embiid with a nice defensive effort. Harden with it. Out left to the wing. Elbow shot on the way. And that one off the back of the rim and in. Embiid's got six points in the quarter. Rising to the challenge. He's given them everything he's got. Ingram on the wing. Knocks down the triple. And the Pelicans lead by nine. And they keep attacking from the three-point range here in the second half. Outside Harden. To the wing on the left. Embiid from outside. And that one hits the back iron. The Pelicans have gotten three of seven attempts in this fourth quarter to fall. From deep. Murphy's shot is off. I've been in this position. Your team is up. You want to drive in the dagger. He may be a little overeager. Pass to Tucker. Outside Maxi. Now Embiid to the middle. It's stolen by Ingram. To the inside. Out of bounds. It'll be Philadelphia's ball. Richardson's checked in for New Orleans. The 76ers have gotten four shots out of six attempts to drop so far in the fourth. Harden, the pass to Embiid. Got a piece of it. Now the Pelicans in transition. Up the floor. Pass to Richardson. And it's Harris with the rebound. Philadelphia has gone two of two from outside so far in the fourth. Outside Harden. Out to the wing. Here's Embiid. Off target at the rim. New Orleans in the lead. Here's Alvarado. Pass to Murphy. Ingram against Maxi. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got seven points for the quarter. Well, Ingram has great scoring instincts. He knows how to find shots and capitalize on them. And Philadelphia calls time here. And now let's take a look at the New Balance player of the game, C.J. McCollum. This is special. We are witnessing a legendary performance here tonight. He is like levels above everyone else on the floor. Something must have clicked for him in warm-ups tonight. He's just come out and he has run wild. Well, they are playoff bound with him rounding into form and playing some of his best basketball. They just got to continue to play together. We'll see if he's able to keep playing at this level. And let's send it over to Allie LaForce. Well, over the break, I listened in on Doc Rivers' huddle. He really got into them saying, quote, you guys aren't playing hard enough. Forget the X's and O's. We need to play with passion. Let's just see that for the last part of this game. Guys. Okay, thanks, Allie. Now here's Harden. Pass to Embiid. Now here's Harris. 
And here's Embiid. I see him, I see him. Shot to end the cold streak. And that one's good. A nice job on the glass as they picked up two on the second effort. Love the activity from Embiid. Just doing whatever he can to keep plays alive. Getting rewarded for it there. Ingram with the ball. Over Tucker. And that one's good. Ingram. Ingram's got nine points now in the second half. And just not letting up at all. I mean, you have to love this approach. You want to get the ball to the guys who make plays. This is when good players really get after it. He can sense that they're reeling, and he's going to put his foot on the pedal. For New Orleans, they've gone 5 of 11 so far in the fourth. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Murphy. Five on the clock. Here's Ingram. And it's good. Off the back of the rim and in. And the Pelicans lead by 13. Philadelphia has gone two of three from beyond the arc here in the fourth. Here's Harden going inside. Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming up. And Harden, a former league MVP, three-time scoring champ. Grant, the only thing he's missing is a title. Yeah, B.A., I mean, it would only help cement his legacy. For years, he'd carry his team only to run out of gas in the playoffs. But postseason success counts for a lot when it's all said and done. And he knocks down the first one. Let me say this. If you need it, he's got it. Harden does everything you want out of an offensive weapon. Nance, he's checked in for Murphy. Harden hits them both. Now here's Ingram. to Alvarado offline with a three that is not a guy you want to allow open looks from range lucky for the defense he just couldn't get it to go now Harden now Embiid from the arc just four to shoot Pelicans cleared away Nance has got his seventh rebound of the game with that last one Pass to Alvarado. Outside Jones. No luck on that one. The 76ers go the other way with it. Here's Maxi. Tucker finds Harris. Now here's Embiid. And the deficit down inside single digits. Embiid's got 39. He's doing everything he can. If they want to win, others have to step up and provide some scoring. New Orleans calls timeout. Marshall, he's checked in for Nance. Four. 
for New Orleans. They've gone just 6 of 14 in this final quarter. Here's Marshall. And here's Ingram. And he drops it in from the low post. Ingram's got 13 points in this quarter. Harden with it. Knocked loose. For three. And they recover it. Here's Embiid. From 13 feet, down it goes. Embiid's got 41. Hey, he's doing everything he can to keep them afloat. Pass to Jones. And that one is stuffed right through. Woo! Defensively, you can't afford to let him get to the rim that easily. Well, that might be why their deficit is what it is right now. Yeah, it's going to take better rim protection than that if they're going to climb out of this hole. Harden. And the rebound goes to the Pelicans. The biggest lead of the game, 15 points. Harris against Ingram. Pass to Alvarado. Five to shoot. Now Richardson. Three-pointer. That one falls. Nice feed that time from Ingram. An excellent job of reading the defense. As Ingram's court vision continues to improve, so will his playmaking. Now here's Harden. Pass to Embiid. Good on the bucket. Embiid's got 43 points. Don't you forget, Harden's won an assist title now. This man can pass that rock. 157 left in the fourth quarter here. Ingram, the pass to Richardson. The three-pointer off the mark. Philadelphia's got two of five threes to go here in the fourth. Pass to Embiid. And Embiid gets the double team. Embiid a screen on Ingram. Here's Harris. And count that. Two points and a chance for one more at the line. Just a big time finish by Harris. One more coming at the line. One shot. So it's the Pelicans now. They've got a nine-point lead. Outside Ingram. Pass to Alvarado. Here's Marshall. Embiid covers. And here's Ingram. Clock at six. Shot from the top of the key. Again, the Pelicans good for two. Yeah, Ingram is having a great night so far. Playing passionate offense and finding lots of quality looks. Right side, Tucker. Outside Harden. Tucker the pass to Harden. One minute left in the fourth quarter here. Harris outside. The three is up. Rebounded by Ingram. The Pelicans shooting around 53% in the fourth. Both sides are simply waiting for the clock to make it official. This is going to end up in the books as a nice win for the Pelicans. Simply taking better care of the ball may have made all the difference. Yeah, and then on the defensive end, they kept the pressure on and forced a number of miscues. And in the big picture, this marks their 43rd win of the year. A big-time bragging rights won today, just grabbing that season series. And as it was happening, as it was building, you knew this was a monster game for C.J. McCollum. I think people could learn a lot from how versatile he was in this one. Whatever the situation was, he found a way to be a difference maker. Harris against Jones. Harris outside. That's good from Embiid on the assist by Harris. Assisted basket. Coaches just love those, so credit Harris for the pass. And so it's New Orleans winning this one. 
This one was a fun one to watch. They were clearly in the driver's seat down the stretch. They really were, B.A. They played with great intensity on both ends of the floor, and they didn't allow their mistakes to get the better of them. All right, Allie's ready to go. She's courtside. Hey, Allie. Brandon, hot shooting for you tonight. Where do you get that confidence level to take over like this? All right, Allie, good stuff there. Thanks for that. That's it, folks. The NBA regular season is in the books. This is Brian Anderson saying thanks for tuning in. So long and good night, everyone.